Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. I'm only going to be eating Halloween foods for 24 hours. I'm kind of scared because I've never done something like this before. I've never tried to make Halloween recipes so this probably not gonna end well so I wanted to keep it in the theme of my channel and try and make like as many recipes from home like as healthy as possible but also like Halloween-ish so I don't know I haven't really got much of a plan for this I'm kind of just gonna wing it this is probably gonna be a disaster so I reckon let's just get to it so for breakfast I'm gonna be making pumpkin pancakes I just already know these gonna be disgusting I'm gonna give it a try anyway so I found a recipe on the internet. I've got a green mixing bowl. It says you need pumpkin puree. Could not find that anywhere. Pumpkin spice. Could not find that anywhere. Perks of living in Australia. And from Amazon, it would take too long to get here. So this is the process of making pumpkin puree from scratch. I don't even know how to cut this. Oh my god. Weird. It smells like kindy. Like childcare. Like I swear they used to feed us this. Oh my god. <laughs> Boiling. Don't know if it's... Nah, it ain't ready yet. So I've got all the ingredients. Salt, baking powder, cinnamon, milk of choice, flour, like this whole meal one, but I'm gonna use a mixture of whole meal and buckwheat flour, uh, coconut oil, vanilla, and honey. And you would not believe the main ingredient you need for pancakes is what's called maple syrup. And who forgot to buy it? Me. <gasps> wow. I'm just like doing so well already. Okay, so let's start combining. Oh, yes, I think they're ready. Let's go mashing. Ow, my hip. Ow. Okay. Easier than I thought it would be. Cute. We're only meant to add a third of a cup, so yuck. That looks gross. Coconut oil. Yeah. Vanilla. Whoops, it's a lot. Cup of meal. Yeah. Ew, that one smells. Alright, let's mix it in. I'll be very surprised if these turn out good because it smells atrocious. So it looks like cake mix. I mean, pancake. Wow, well, my brain is just really loving me today. To get a bit more bougie, I'm gonna make some sort of berry jam blood looking thing. So I've got my strawberries. I'm gonna heat them up and like mash them. You know, I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but. Okay, it's pancake time. Let's get pouring. Oh my god. There's a hair in it. Oh my freaking god. There's a hair, there's a hair. Oh my god, there's a hair. Where's the hair gone? Oh no. Oh no. We'll find it later. Okay, they actually look kind of good on the pan. But time will only tell. Now these things are actually quite hard to do. I didn't I kind of underestimated these. Okay, it's kind of looking good actually. I've just gone for like some mushy pink sort of substance. This looks like an infection. But on the other hand, these are kind of looking good. Because I'm the most impatient person in the world, I'm gonna try and flip one of them. Oh my god, they actually have stayed together. <gasps> oh my god. They work. They actually look good. Oh my god! They look so good. And I added some chia seeds to that for a bit more spooky substance. So my strawberry slop has successfully looked like slop. I don't know why they kind of smell good. They smell like maple syrup, but I don't get how because there ain't no maple syrup in there. Our stack is almost complete. Oh my god, I can't believe I did it. Here are my Halloween pumpkin pancakes. Wow, they look hideous. This is the first taste test that I've done that I have actually no clue what this is gonna taste like. So. They actually have like a pretty good texture. They're not that bad. Um, the strawberry juice thing like makes it so much better, but they're a bit bland. Like, I don't know. Let me try one plain. They kind of just taste like flour. I don't know. Like, not bad though for a little wing it recipe, but look how cool the inside looks. So 
for like my mini lunch sort of thing i'm gonna be making some pumpkin pumpkin soup with avocado toast so i'm just using this one from heinz it's like all we've got in the house i have not had pumpkin soup oh my god this looks weird i'm not the biggest fan of pumpkin soup but like you know we've got to keep it in theme with halloween so i've got some brown bread and i'm gonna try and make it look scary with like putting avocado on it and then like some mushrooms for eyes i don't know but that soup looks weird looks very gloggy that actually looks really weird we need to stir the soup i'm gonna try some of the soup i'm actually kind of scared because i don't think i'm gonna like pumpkin soup mm. it's okay I, I prefer tomato soup it's very strange but try something new and so here is the halloween inspired lunch very nice i don't know how i feel about eating raw mushrooms but it's the first time for everything Okay, it's actually not that bad. Yeah, I just don't think I'm like the biggest fan of actual soup, but it's fine. We've got to get used to it for this challenge because it's like Halloween, you just think of pumpkins. I need to get a spoon. I've just gotten home from tumbling and I just went shopping to make some Halloween like capsicum sort of thing majiks. All right, so I had to get some. Also, if you want to be part of my hedgehog fam, Please go subscribe to Chicken Chachi. Chi. You forgot to say Stop. subscribe. I had to get some chicken. And share this video. Some salt reduced chicken stock and some beans. So I have my capsicum already or bell pepper if you will. And then in here I've got some grains and beans and some onion and carrot cooking in some salt reduced chicken stock. And then I'm just gonna add some cheese and then chuck it in the oven and then carve a face out of it. Oh my god, that looks so cool. That was easier than I thought. The stock is almost done. Now I've got to carve the face. Look at the cute eyes. The face is gonna be like the hardest to do. I don't know what to do for the mouth. Oh my god, this is gonna look horrible. All right, moment of truth. Oh, that's kind of cute. Oh. So I've just put it in the mini toaster oven and I'm surprised how good it looks. Oh my god, and the things would fall out. I actually thought like all the stuff would fall out of the eye hole. Yeah. So I'll show you guys when it's done. And so here it is. I don't know what the juices are at the bottom, but here it is. Oh my god, it looks so professional. Yay. I have a feeling this will taste good because it smelled good when it was cooking. I'm gonna take the top off. Give it a try. The insides kind of look like bugs. Mmm. I've never had crunchy rice before, and I do like that. Oh my god, that's so good. That's been my favourite throughout the whole day, I reckon. I'm gonna make this more often. So we're getting on to making dinner now. And I have got no clue where I'm gonna go with this, but I've seen a few photos, so I'm just gonna wing it. But I have got some black wild rice sort of thing happening there. Some smoked salmon, some onion, and I've got heaps of vegetables and stuff, but I need to collect combine it in like a ball and make it look scary. So I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but we're just going to wing it and see what happens. This rice is kind of spooky. This is gonna be so bad I can just feel it all in my skin. So I love smoked salmon. Yeah. I think we could do something like that. <laughs> this is hard. Let's do something with the onion. If I do it like this can have some circles so I've just put the eyes on it now we need a mouth so we've had a change of plants and I spread the rice out over the bottom got the salmon and the onion as the eyes and then I'm cooking up the broccoli for hair that's going to be the frown then we're going to get some devil horns and then some fangs this will actually turn out good I reckon so this is the final result I tried my best it's not the most fabulous I don't know what you could call this um, scary face salmon rice thing. 
So, a bit bland, so we've got some soy sauce. <laughs> bit bland. It's a bit bland. <laughs> and, yeah, that is my Halloween inspired dinner. All right, that wraps up this Halloween challenge. I've still got one more Halloween video to come, so stay tuned. But I hope you will have a fabulous Halloween, and if you don't celebrate it, then... Oh well, but so yeah, thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll see you all in my next video.